Hi everyone, it's Anna Wheaton here from Nudge Nudge Ink Ink. I posted this card earlier today and I thought I would follow up with a little video of how it's put together. It uses the tulip dies. So if you have your mini catalog, which runs until June, you have a mega suite called The Flowering Fields. And in it, there's two stamp sets. Hey, Kathleen. Uh, one with tulips and tulip dyes, and then one with tulip fields, and that's where the windmill that you may have seen has come from. It also uses, incorporates the butterfly, brushed brass butterflies, and this window pane check ribbon. So we're going to use those on this card also. So here is the card, and it got a few comments this morning. We did this in a class on Saturday. And uh, I have, I made up little kits so that people had little cello bags with all their bits in them. And uh, we put it together. So the dies, there's a number of things in the dies that we won't use. Um, but I used all these flower cutouts. This is um, so something else that's fun to play with, but I'm not using on the card. But... Um, we're going to put together, I'm going to show you how to put these together. So rather than try and point them out to you here on the magnetic sheet, I've got them here. So you can see in the set of dies, there's actually three of these anyway. So with one pass through the cutter, you get all three of these. There's These are three different ones. And then this, there is only one of. And so... There's a lot of, um, some people are putting the flowers together with just one of these in one of them, but I've put it in both of them. So you can see there, that's what makes up your finished flower here. So I've used Real Red, Poppy Parade and Petal Pink. And I don't know how well you can see there, there's a bit of texture on them. So see this pink one here, how it's got little fingers pointing up. Um, there's the same here. There's even marks on the red ones they don't show up as well but even on the back of them which is perhaps if you want to make a 3d project okay so let's get them out and put them together i'll actually leave that here hey loretta hope you rested up you know how to put this together um okay so i'm just going to match these with the diagram to show you. So I'm putting them down and they are um, the correct side up. So the um, embossed side up, the outside or the side that we're going to see is up and lay them out like that. And then we've got the leaves and stalks. They're pretty straightforward. So the best thing, we sort of came to a conclusion, it's lovely in a class to um, to swap ideas and people try different things. And we actually found that glue dots were the best way to put these together. I used Tombow on these, and in fact, that one's popped open. So, okay, here's the bud. So as you cut it out, uh, it's in three pieces. So there's actually a score line there, one there and one there. So you can fold that over like that to form your bud. Now, this is a funny one because down the bottom, you probably can't see that now, but down the bottom, um, it's sort of a bit wobbly. Uh, so there's no sort of thing to line up um, and get all the pieces straight. So it's a bit of a guess, but it still works. So I just put a mini glue dot on the bottom of that and sit that inside. And then I'm going to grab another mini glue dot. Now, if you've got mini glue dots, bought them recently, they've swapped it. So instead of the mini glue dot being on the roll, it's on this bit as you peel it off. And um, a lot of people aren't too happy with that. So I'm putting that under there with a little bit sticking out. Oh, a lot sticking out because it's gone stuck to that. And then I can fold that one over. And there I have my flower. Now, what I forgot to do on that one, and I will do on this one, is you can take your bone folder and just give it a little bit of a curve. You don't want to curve it too much because, or you don't want to apply too much pressure because you'll get rid of that uh, embossed look. Now, if I fold that over, 
you can see I'm starting to get the shape of this bud as well. So again, bring my glue dot in. And I'm going to put that in at the back here so that that little pink bit is sticking out the top. Then I'm going to grab this piece. So I say to people, if they these are fiddly to play with. And so if you're going to go to your cutting machine and cut them out, I suggest you cut out a whole bunch so that you've got all the bits plus more that you can use to put it all together. Um, now, these are going to overlap. Yes, so if you've got plenty of bits to use, you don't have to keep getting up and down or you don't have to say, ah, oh, I haven't got that last bit I need and it puts you off. And of course, if you've got any left over, you can just pop them in the container. There we go. Now, if I want to, I can even just pop my um, bone fold in there to give that a bit of a bit of shape. So it's got a bit of depth. Okay, two flowers. So you can see it's pretty quick with a mini glue dot. You don't have to wait for it to dry. And when you've got the pieces cut, you're ready to assemble. So there's the third one. I've shaped it. I'm going to get a mini glue dot, pop that in the bottom there. This is your take your pick tool, uh, a pokey thing as a lot of people call it, but it's very handy for lifting glue dots, as is a toothpick. <laughs> but this is kind of the bee's knees because you've got this end and you can also flip it and you've got a spatula end which looks as though it's got a bit of mini glue dot on it. That's funny. Okay. That one there. Um, so you can imagine all the different combinations of colors that you could use here. Now with this one, you can see um, it has a little bit of a bit of depth to it. So it's becoming 3D. So I don't want to glue that flat and squish it. See how my card, again, I'll turn that. See how my card has 3D to it? Uh, so I'm going to put my mini glue dot over to one side here and I'm going to roll it a little bit just so that it doesn't take up as much room. And then Rather than flatten that, I'm just lining the edge up there and that leaves all this middle bit sort of um, puffed up. Okay, so there you have your three flowers. Just as you see, they can vary. Look, that one looks quite a bit narrow, um, skinnier than that one. Okay. Now let's get in my pieces for my card. So I'm going to put this all on a black background, as you can see here. Now you may be able to see that's a little bit sparkly there. So that's using your Wink of Stella pen. Um, these are a wonderful item to just add a little something to your card. They are a brush tip. So you can colour with them. But this time round, we're just going to um, add them to this black by tapping it onto my bone folder. The other thing you can do is you can get your lid and you can flick. Make sure you don't go too close to your project, otherwise you might actually paint on it. But you can do this flicking action. So when you lift it up, you may not be able to see much. Oh, there, I hope you can see that. Beautiful, beautifully shimmery. If your Wink of Stella, this is a quick tip. If your Wink of, wink of Stella runs out, you can unscrew it. Oh, unscrew it. And you've got this little black valve here. You can pop that out. 
and then you can fill it with isocol and you'll get another lot of life out of it just until that empties again because there's still quite a bit of the shimmer that's floating around inside but I digress okay we've got our black base I'm going to add a strip here this is from the tulip DSP so it's got a good mixture of tulip pictures and then also some nice patterns I've cut that a little short um, I'm just going to trim that don't leave me and just cut my trimmer Okay, and then I'm going to add my stalks. So I'm going to just use Tombow. You could cut these. I did this with a fair number of pieces from the class. You could cut something like this using the adhesive sheets that are um, you would attach to the back of the card stock. Makes it really easy to attach fine pieces. But I'm just going with... Um, Tombow. Hi Nicole, thanks for joining me. Now you can probably hardly see that against the black. Stay light with your Tombow. See I was a bit too heavy handed up there and it squelched out the side. But that's where again where a toothpick is handy. You can just run a toothpick up the side of that and um, pick up that excess glue. You don't want to be too heavy handed with your glue. I actually, oh no, that's all right. Um, there are two leaves. Hi, Kim. Uh, okay, I'm adding it differently to my sample, but that's okay. And I'm just checking each time that I've got the piece the correct way up because if you've cut it out, um, with the dies, it will have a curve on the correct side. It curves downwards, whereas if you turn it over, it's a little bit sort of rough. Okay. Making this up as I go along. Uh, now, at this stage, I might actually put this onto my card base. Hello, Brie. Oh, gee, I've got a good turnout this afternoon. Brie, you might recognise this card. <laughs> Now, my team is the lorikeet stampers, you see. So I have a lorikeet bone folder and a lorikeet to help me. Okay, that's in place. Just trying to find my dimensionals. Now, what you can do here is you can also add these with dimensionals to pop them up any even further. So I'll do that. Just gives the card a little bit of pop. Now, can you see that on the back there? You can see there's some texture. So definitely if you were doing uh, a 3D uh, flowers in a pot or something, that's why that would be good. But in this case, I'm just covering it with a dimensional. like so then when you've cut all that out you'll find that there's actually not a stalk for the third blossom so all I did was I put it down here and then I got my window pane ribbon so this is the ribbon that is part of the suite also looks very Dutch I, I think I don't know why so I'm doing bunny ears so I just do two loops tie them in a knot okay and then I'm not quite happy with that so I just hold on to the knot and I can tighten that and pull those bunny ears again I can just keep playing with this until I'm happy like so and then trim that. 
And then if I grab my trusty glue dots back again, they're super strong. So I can just push the knot of my ribbon onto there, pull it off, and then I'm going to put it underneath that third blossom to finish that off. Then also in the suite, uh, the brushed brass butterflies. I must check, we have now got, demonstrators can look at the new catalog and um, I must check to see if these are in it or whether they'll finish up because I love them. So this is the other end of the take your pick tool and it has a bit of a putty. So you can just push at your embellishments like that and you don't have to fiddle around with picking them up with big fingers or long fingernails, chewed fingernails, etc. Okay, so there you have it. I'll put the original beside. They're practically the same, except that this one has two butterflies and this one has three. A bit of a taste of the tulip dies. I called them the poppy dies accidentally during class. Tulip dies. I've still got some daffodil samples to show you this week and also one using three different dies, three different types of flowers all together. So I'll pop that there. Um, if you're interested in ordering any of these, you can message me or you can shop at my online store and I'd love to help you out. Otherwise, I hope I can keep inspiring you and um, teaching you some little tips and techniques. I'm going to add a little glue dot there, aren't I? Thank you. Have a nice evening and I'll be back tomorrow.